Hello artists and welcome to ChalkPastel.com. Are you ready for fall? We are and we just cannot wait for all the fall color and we've already experienced some good weather here this morning in Georgia. It's quite cooler so it feels like fall. Is it feeling like fall near you? We'd love to hear if this is your first time visiting us at Chalk Pastel and joining us on an art lesson or if this is your 80th time. We would just love to hear what your favorites are. Please like and comment and share with some other artists that you know. And we are here to share this fall walk in the woods. And Nana is going to let you know exactly what you need, the few supplies. But before I turn it over to her, I wanted to let you know about our Fall in Love event that's happening all this week. We have all of our fall art video courses and tutorials 30% off at chalkpastel.com. So we'd love for you to hop over there and take a look and see how it could bless your homeschool, bless your family time. And let me see, we also have this weekly art lesson most every Wednesday here at noon on the chalkpastel.com Facebook page. And all of this month in September, we are doing an Instagram chalk art challenge. And we would love for you to join. You just simply need to go and look at the you are an artist hashtag. And you will find the prompts for all of September. Today, we shared about clouds earlier. And clouds are so much fun to paint in chalk pastels. So, I think that's all that I needed to share with you. Uh, we are going to be using a light blue piece of construction paper. Now if you don't have that, you're welcome to use another color. Just use what you have on hand. But Nana is going to explain that and I'm going to turn the camera around to her right now. There you are. There's Nana. Hello my artist friends. Yes, we're back, and it is cold here outside of Atlanta. I got up this morning, and I was all ready to get ready and get going, and I had my trusty flip-flops. My feet are freezing. But then we get very silly down here about a cool breeze, because it's usually so hot. So with that in mind, I want to tempt you to Come with us as we take a little walk through the woods with our pastels. Now, what you need uh, first is something to draw on. And <clears throat> as Trisha said, we have pale blue, plain old construction paper form. It can be from the dollar store. And we're going to turn it vertically like this because this is going to be a vertical picture. Underneath I have a kind of throwaway piece of paper. As you can see it's got bits of pastel all over it and I put it up underneath my painting so it will stay in place on the table. And then we have our pastels. There are just all kinds of colors and uh, I want you to try your best to use fall colors. Now, I'm going to move over to my seat and uh, show you the colors that I have chosen for this painting. <clears throat> okay, these are the colors that I've chosen. Now, because I have a light blue paper, I really don't know if it's necessary that I have a sky color, but I got it out anyway. There is a brilliant yellow. I'll turn it this way because these, these pastels have been used a lot in the past couple of days, and they're kind of dirty. Um, here is a bright red, an orange. This is kind of a terracotta color. And this is a light orange. And there is a spring green, dark green, white, and two different colors of brown. Now you don't have to have all these colors. And I may not even use all these colors. It's 
really up to what you want to do. Also, I have a wet paper towel here that uh, actually is damp. You can wipe your fingers off so they won't be getting all over your paper, the chalk. <clears throat> okay, we're going to start with the road first. Now, just kind of eyeball this, as I say. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. There's an upside down U. That is the opening at the end of the path. And we're gonna close it like this. And then we're going to get our path going. First this side. Now, if you get behind us, that's okay. You can catch up. All right. Now, this the reason why I have these little bumpy lines is because the uh, trees have moss underneath them. And as you get closer to the viewer, the road gets wider, as you see. Okay, let's get us some trees in. We're going to start down here at the very end of the tree tunnel, and we're going to put some trees in. There's one. And we're just gently going to bend it a little bit. And then we're going to have a matching tree on this side. And then we're going to come a little bit further down, and we're going to put a tree here, and here, and here. And we're going to match them on this side. One there, and this one is going to be straight. This one is going to be straight, and then there's a big one right here. And as we get closer in on this side, there's a good size one. You can bend it whichever way you like. have a little bit of a trunk there and a big one here. As we go on we're going to put some in the background here and sort of fill up these these woods okay now this doesn't look like much it really doesn't but as we go along you'll see these, these woods really come to life. Okay, we've got our trees. There's the end of the tunnel. All right, take your sky blue and go ahead and lightly, lightly put in the sky at the end of the tunnel. All right. Now that's your point of reference. That's where that's where you're headed. That's the end of the journey. And I think I might even put a little bit of white in there. Okay. Now, next we're going to, to get our background in. All right. Now, I'm just starting here underneath the trees. I've turned my spring green on its side and I'm 
getting these, this, I like to think it's moss that's growing here in the woods. And on this side. And let's bring it down here. If you get outside the lines, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's take the darker green and let's get some of these edges. I've also turned it on its side. And look how that just jumps out at you. You can really see those edges. don't like the way that looks, you can take your finger and smooth in some of the color. Now yours does not have to look just like mine. My belief is you cannot paint exactly the way that somebody else paints. So you just do the best you can. And it's your picture anyway, you're the artist. All right, now we've got the moss on the ground. Let's get in some yellow fall color, just a bit, to show some sunshine back here. And get some over here on this side. think that I'm going to put in a tree right beside this one, a good sized tree, and I'm going to let it come across the path. And it's not going to knock anybody in the head, but it just is one of those things, one of those little sort of tricks of nature that is going to keep our interest as we go through the woods. I'm just adding some tree trunks, you know, uh, tree limbs. They always look like to me when I was growing up. Somebody once said in Sunday school, have you ever noticed how limbs of trees look like they're raising their arms right up to the sky? Well, that's right. They are. Okay. Now, we're going to give this path a little bit of color. Okay? This is a light, light orange. So it's going to be the color for the road. I've turned it on the side and I've got a little bit of color going down the road. Now, this is not a motorcycle path or, or anything that, well, you might could, could ride your bike down this path. But we're going to put a little bit of grass down the middle to sort of break it up a little bit. Okay. Now, this looks like a pretty bare path, so let's get some tree color in here. Let's take this bright orange, and we're just going to turn it on the side and get in some splotches, that's what I call them, or some bunches of fall color. And I think this color should probably be, you know, close up pretty high. Here we go. And then we're going to come back with the bright orange. And you 
you can go right over the deeper orange and see how pretty that looks together. You can go over your tree limbs. And this is where the sun is going to kiss the very top of the trees. So it looks like the sun is coming from the left. Let's be sure we get enough in there. Now, it's not quite fall yet. So let's get a little bit of green in here. See what fun this is? You can have your very own fall right here in the woods. And you look up and you say, oh my goodness, it's getting to be fall. And soon all these pretty leaves are going to be like fallen jewels right on the ground. And now a darker green, which is going to be behind here to show that there is depth in the woods and a little bit in the trees. Okay. Now, I think what we're going to do is get some yellow in, take out some of that dark, dark, dark green, and put it up here at the very top See the sun shining on it? Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And we've got the blue sky right behind it. But we need a few more what we call sky holes. And in between, let's just get deepen these sky holes just a bit. Now, if you've gotten behind, it's okay. You can watch this again. And you'll be surprised at how quickly you'll be able to catch up. Now, this one tree that has fallen down here, I think I'm just going to leave it fallen like that. And... going to get some of the trees with the light. Now you see the light is coming down like this so the tree would have a shadow on this side. And be sure you get get some some good tree limbs back up in your trees. Now this side is opposite. You see, we've got the, the sun coming in like this, and on this side, it would come in on this, these, this side of the tree. Well, I think we're just about finished. But, you know, Nana just can't leave something alone. We're going to put a little bit of terracotta color here to show some good old earth. And next to it, still some moss. And I'm just tidying up. And I know that your picture is just wonderful and that you have used wonderful colors. Now I'm going to take back that terracotta and I'm going to get a little bit of color here on the side of the road to define it. Take your painter finger. There we go. 
And I think we're just about finished. I think this is wonderful. It looks like a road I would want to go walk down. I don't know about you, but I would. So, take your most favorite color, and here in the corner, sign your name. There's an N for Nana. Then, I want you to take your painting. Yes, this is a painting. These are pure paint pigments. That's what a pastel is. So that's why we call it a painting. Turn your painting over, and you may call it whatever you prefer. Fall woods, a walk in the woods, whatever you like. And today's date. Turn it back over and let people look at it and admire it because it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful painting that you have made here all on your own. And what you get from this is to always remember you are an artist. And Nana, what do we want them to do so that we can see their paintings? Send us your photos of your paintings so we can admire and look at them and tell you how much we love them. Yes, please do. We'll look for those on the You Are an Artist hashtag on Instagram, or you can share a picture right here in the comments of this video. We're so glad that you joined us, and we hope that you will check out more fall art. We have some samples right up here on the chalkboard, right above my smiling sun. And we wanted to remind you that all that fall art is 30% off this week through Saturday. And we thank you for joining us. Please remember, you are an artist.